The coronavirus crisis is intensifying with 30,000 deaths and over 670,000 confirmed cases in the world. Now we may have found patient zero. That's one of the earliest of all people to have tested positive for the disease. Allegedly, it is a 57-year-old shrimp seller at the Hunan Seafood Market in the city of Wuhan, the epicenter of the virus outbreak. She is a survivor. She knows the excruciating symptoms very well. And she has said COVID-19 would have killed fewer people if the Chinese government had acted sooner. Let's take a look at the diagnosis of this case and what transpired after the discovery of the strange symptoms. Let's take you back to December, 10th of December, when Wei Jixin developed a cold. She was at her stall selling shrimps at the wet market. This was her first reaction to the illness, and I'm quoting. Every winter, I suffer from the flu, so I thought it was just the flu. Upon her visit to the clinic, she received an injection, but she did not still feel better. On the 11th of December, the following day, she went to a hospital in Wuhan, but we continued to feel weak. The feeling of lethargy persisted. On the 16th of December, she visited one of the biggest hospitals in Wuhan, the Wuhan Union Hospital. It was here that the doctors told her the sickness was ruthless. She later found out that many other workers from the wet market had also come to the hospital with similar symptoms. The Wuhan Municipal Health Commission has confirmed that Wei was among the first 27 people to have tested positive for the disease. She was one of the 24 cases with direct links to that market. According to the Chinese media outlet, the paper, Wei was quarantined only at the end of December and she recovered in January. Her guess is that she may have contracted the disease from a common toilet for meat sellers in the market. This case illustrates China's initial ignorance. China reported a cluster of pneumonia cases of unknown cause on the 31st of December. That is two weeks after Wei and her fellow meat sellers from that wet market had gone to Wuhan's largest hospital. According to researchers at the University of Southampton, China's delay in the coronavirus response accelerated the spread of the virus. The study says had China responded to the outbreak three weeks earlier, coronavirus cases could have been reduced by 95%, 95%. The delayed response meant Wuhan became the epicenter for this pandemic. Wuhan is the capital of Hubei. The province has contributed 82% of all over 80,000 cases recorded in China, according to data compiled by John Hopkins University. Yes, Wei Shishan is right. China could have spared the world from a suffering not seen since the Second World War. She fell ill on the 10th of December. Chinese Xi, President Xi Jinping got involved nearly a month after these initial cases were detected. By late January, millions of people were traveling to visit friends and family for the Lunar New Year. By the 3rd of February, China began experiencing a shortage of test kits and hospital beds. Yes, China's response should have been swift. But what's worse is that it stifled voices. Remember Li Wenliang, the eye doctor, was one of the first whistleblowers his response to the virus was much faster than that of the government. On the 30th of December, he sent a message to fellow doctors in a chat group warning them to wear protective clothing to avoid catching the infection. Four days later, he was summoned by the police. On the 30th of January, he also was diagnosed with the coronavirus. And on the 6th of February, he succumbed to the disease. And that led to a public outpouring of grief on social media, calling for the Chinese government to issue an apology. It took the Chinese government two months to exonerate the doctor and issue an apology to his family. Take a look at this. Just two weeks ago, the head of emergency at the Wuhan Central Hospital went public. Apparently, authorities had stopped her and her colleagues from warning the world. And she has now disappeared. Her whereabouts are not known. China is also fighting to salvage its reputation. It is widely believed across the world 
that COVID-19 originated in Wuhan, the capital of China's Hubei province. But China has launched a media campaign to challenge this very theory. From goodwill gestures to media battles with the United States, China is doing everything in its power to try and absolve itself of any blame for the pandemic.